Today we got Indian food, y'all. Now I love butter chicken. Y'all know that, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. We got a story time too, y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. These, I think these cause masala, samala, samosa, something like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, yeah. That's how this food make me feel, for real. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me, yeah. What's this stuff? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. mm. <sighs> Y'all, I remember this one job I used to work at. Y'all, the best way I can describe it is job horror story. This job was terrible. Now, it was this one lady that used to work there. Now, I used to call her unemployment. Y'all, because this lady got paid to do absolutely nothing. I'm talking about she ain't never do work, y'all, and was still getting a check. Now, if that ain't unemployment, I don't know what is, baby. And the management, whoo, out of control. Y'all, when I tell y'all management was thugging, thugging baby they was thugging in there y'all now y'all i don't even know how that job stayed open for so long because y'all when i tell y'all this job was horrible they mistreated their employees they mistreated their customers like and i'm pretty sure they should have got sued because all of us all that stuff they was doing in there had to be illegal y'all and if it wasn't illegal it sure enough should have been but y'all let me tell y'all what happened that was my final straw so i was like you know what i'm done with this job baby uh, -uh i ain't working here no more because baby no, I'm not the one, baby. And I ain't finna titty tatty with you. I remember it like it was yesterday, y'all. I had woke up early that morning and I was just staring out the window. Yeah, y'all, I was staring out the window because, see, I really didn't want to go to work because I really didn't like that job, y'all. But at the same time, that job was paying my bills. So I was like, oh, let me hurry up. I don't need to be late for work. So I hopped up in the shower, jumped up, got dressed, got in my car, started swerving through traffic so I don't be late for work. Now, as soon as I reached the building, it was me and another lady. We was like running towards the elevator because we was running a little late. But y'all, tell me why as soon as we got close to the elevator, it was a lady in the elevator pressing the closed door real, real fast. So the elevator ended up slamming in our face. Yeah, and see, that was strike one for me because I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of the people that work here. Horrible people, horrible company, horrible job. But anyways, y'all, so we stood there. We wait for the elevator. Now, as soon as we get on the elevator, y'all, we press the 10th floor. Tell me why when we get to the fifth floor, the elevator stopped working. Yeah. Yeah, doors not opening, elevator not moving. So now me and this lady just in the elevator looking at each other. Okay, now I pressed the emergency button. She got on her phone. She called management and like, yo, we stuck in the elevator. And then y'all, I just started canceling all my auto pays. Y'all, don't even ask me why I was canceling auto pay, y'all. Because, see, I look for any reason to cancel auto pay. Like, for real, for real. Because I really don't be wanting to do auto pay anyway. So, like, any little thing can happen and I'm going to cancel auto pay. Yeah. Straight up. If I'm if I'm driving in traffic and somebody cut me off, like, yep, I need to cancel my auto pay. Because, see, I knew I shouldn't have did that anyways. But, anyways, y'all. So, we was in the elevator for, like, 15, 20 minutes. And, finally, somebody came and rescued us. The elevator started working. Once I finally get off the elevator, y'all, I go straight to the break room. Now, keep Keep in mind, I'm not expecting to see anyone in the break room because I am running late. But as soon as I walk in the break room, I see unemployment. Now, although I wasn't expecting to see anybody, I'm not surprised that I see unemployment because, see, this is what she does. She get paid to do nothing. And y'all see, she can get away with doing stuff like this because the manager is her boyfriend. So this is why she able to be unemployed at work, okay? But I walk in and she like, hey, Zen, I see you having a rough morning. I'm glad you made it. We was waiting on you to have a meeting. I said, meeting girl what we about
about to have a meeting about? She talking about, oh, nothing major. We just, you know, updating the policies and, you know, switching some positions around and stuff like that. I say, um, girl, check this out. I ain't finna go to no meeting. As a matter of fact, tell them to zell me the updates. She's talking about Zen. Zell is a money transfer. You can't send emails through Zell. I say, exactly why. It's time for this job to pay how they way, baby. Zell me the updates, okay? Now, as soon as I sit down at my desk, cardio come over. Now, I call this lady cardio, y'all, because she's always walking around the office to avoid doing work. So, technically, the only work that she's doing is her cardio workout. Now, keep in mind, y'all, she's only in the office like 50% of the time because, see, she travel around selling products for this company. So, whenever she's not, like, on a trip, you know, doing a presentation, selling the product, she have to work in the office. But every time she in the office, she don't do nothing but walk around. So anyway, as soon as I sit down, Cardio walk over to my desk and she like, Zen, this company is going down, they're going under, and they're drowning fast. I said, what? She said, set it off. They done set me off, and they finna all fall like dominoes. So I was like, hold on, girl, you can't be walking around here saying you're going to set it off. Because, see, where I come from, set it off means you finna rob somebody. Because, see, it was these four ladies, and they had got fed up with life, and so they started... You know what, girl? Don't even worry about it. Just watch the movie. But just know you can't be walking around here saying you're going to set it off. And she was like, well, then, technically, they robbed me. So, yes, I'm going to set it off. I'm going to set it off. I said, what? She said, yes, then. They all finna fall like dominoes. Let me tell you what they did to me. I said, what? Girl, calm down. I'm listening. Girl, I'm listening, but you need to calm down because, see, you're acting like the Queen Latifah of the group, you know, of them four ladies I was telling you about. And Queen Latifah was the ruggish, thuggish one, baby. Don't worry about it, girl. Just tell me what they did. Tell me what's going on. But you need to calm down, Boogie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This lady travel around to different companies selling their products. And they sell, like, call boards, like, call machines, you know, like, different products for company use, they sell it to other companies. Now, I don't know why, how they selling these other products to other companies because the products inside the building where we was working at was trash. But anyways, none of my business. So this lady basically traveled around, you know, selling their products. So she was like, she had to go make a presentation at a company that was like 500 miles away. Now, whatever the, you know, presentation is a certain amount of miles away, they'll get her a round trip plane ticket and pay for her hotel stay and stuff like that. So she was like, she left and she had to do a presentation from Wednesday to Friday. So that's three days she's supposed to be going. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. She's supposed to be going them three days. Tell me why, y'all. She said, first of all, they, they did book her a round trip ticket, but her ticket was coming back on Saturday. So I said, girl, why did they give you a round trip ticket for Saturday when your presentation was done on Friday? She said, I know, Zen. That's why they falling like dominoes. That's why I'm going to set it off because I know they knew what they were doing. And I said, calm down, Buki. What happened? So she was like, basically, she did the presentation. Everything went smooth. But when Saturday came and it was time for her to check out her hotel room, y'all tell me why her company card got declined. Yes court was declined baby so now she's trying to check out of this hotel room her company car is declined and guess what it's saturday nobody's at work there's nobody she can reach out to and talk to so she ended up having to pay for this hotel room herself so this is why she in the office right now on monday talking about she about to set it off set it off set it off because she mad for one she's saying basically she was embarrassed two she said she had to use her money Three, she said she need her money back expediently, baby, expediently. So now by this time, y'all, the manager that came over there, he was like, okay, y'all, let's go. Basically, he's saying it's time for us to have this meeting. So we all walked to the conference room. Now, as soon as we get in this conference room, I noticed that we're missing a person. So we're supposed to be the manager there plus five other people, including myself. But I noticed that Money Mouth is not there. Now, I call this man Money Mouth because, y'all, this man can sell. He got the gift of gab. He can sell anybody, anything. I'm telling y'all, this man talk game so good, he can sell water to rain, okay? So I call him Money Mouth. So I was surprised he wasn't there. But I'm like, you know what? Let me mind my business. So the manager started the meeting and he like, okay, the first the first thing I want to address is um, the return policy. So basically, this man stand up there and tell us, hey, if y'all make a sale and a customer pretty much cancel their order, you're going to be charged a $35 restock fee. Now I'm like, what? And 
they gonna take it out of our check so i was like hold on let me get this straight so if we make a sale and the customer decides to cancel their order you're going to charge us the employee 35 dollar restock fee he was like yes now before i could say anything else y'all extension core stood up and he was like nah this is unacceptable i'm not finna deal with that we're not finna agree to this now y'all i call this dude extension core because see he always acting like he the plug when he's selling these people products like and what i mean by that y'all he act like he owned the products that he's selling and what i mean is he always making deals with customers that he like not allowed to make so for say for an example if a customer be like okay yeah um, I want to purchase that product, but I don't want to purchase it at that particular price. He'll be like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. I got you, ma'am. I can handle that. Knowing he can't do that. Or they might be like, okay, yeah, I want to purchase a product, but, you know, you got to add, add in another product or something for that price. And he'll be like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it, sir. I got you. But he can't do that. So all the time he have customers calling us back to, like, complain because basically what he told them he was going to do, hello he didn't do it so they be complaining so i already know that's why he upset that it's going to be a restock fee because about 60 percent of his orders get sent back because he be acting like he the plug and i'll be telling him listen my brother you is not the plug you plugged in with the plug okay but you ain't the plug you like an extension cord but you're not the plug so even though i knew why he was upset not gonna lie i agreed with him how you trying to charge us a restock fee that's not gonna work but i was like you know what i'm gonna just mind my business because I had already put in my brain that I'm really kind of done with that job anyways. I was just waiting to get a new one. Now, after he said that, y'all, another manager walked in and he was being straight up messy. And he was like, you know what? There has been also a new update to the policy that we need to discuss. So we like, what? What now? So he was like, it can only be one person per address. Now, y'all, as soon as he said that, I already knew what he was doing. He was being messy because, see, he know that unemployment and the manager that's having this meeting, he know their boyfriend and girlfriend. So he being super messy. So the manager that was having the meeting was like, nah, that ain't going to work for me. And so the manager that walked in, he was like don't worry about it i already talked to the owner so apparently this is why they're doing all this getting the company in shape because apparently the owner done came in from out of town but like i said i already knew i wasn't gonna be that long so i just ignored the whole situation so now y'all after the meeting i go sit back at my desk now two or three hours later money mouth walk in and i'm like oh, okay well he finally showed up i wonder where he been at but y'all as soon as he walk in he is mad he upset he living now keep in mind y'all i never saw this dude this upset that's money mouth he always happy because he always making sales okay but now he walked to his desk and he just like snatching everything out his desk and he just frustrated he mad he slamming stuff he throwing stuff so i'm like let me go see what's wrong with him so i get out my desk i walk over there and i was like um, money mouth what's up you cool what's wrong with you he was like this job this job is full of it this job is full of it so i'm like oh calm down what's going on i was like did they fire you like how they gonna fire their top salesman he was like no nah, they ain't fire me zen i quit i quit i said you quit what's going on he said they use me this job they use me they use me they play me they bamboozle me i quit i'm full of this job is just full of it so now by this time y'all the owner done walked in and so now as soon as the owner walk in money mouth walked straight up to the owner and he's so close to the owner y'all they so close they like they probably they nose touching he walked up to him and he said you full of crap you gonna get what you looking for yeah you scumbag you not worth the gum under my shoe you gonna get what you looking for now y'all by this time i'm like oh man let me calm him down because y'all this is the thing when money mouth was going off on this man like that this owner was standing there with a smirk on his face Y'all, and I don't know what happened, but everything in my soul was like, man, you better go get that man before he hurt him. Because just the way that owner was standing up with a smirk on his face, y'all, yeah, nah, I knew I, I knew they had did something grimy to, to, to Money Mouth. I really did knew, know it. Because why are you do, smirking like that? Why are you smirking like that? So I went over there. I was like, I was like, calm down, calm down. Like, it ain't even worth it. Like, whatever you think about doing, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. He was like, you know what? You right, Zen. He, this, this MF, he going to get what he looking for. He going to get what he looking for. So he go back to his desk and he started packing it up. And so then the owner looked at me and he was like, you, what's your name? You need to go have a seat. I said, no, I don't. I said, I'm clocked out for the rest of the day. Y'all, and I wasn't clocked out for the rest of the day, but just the way everything was going down, like, bro, what? 
I need to go do what? Homeboy, nah, I don't need to go do nothing. Matter of fact, I'm finna go home. Because I don't know what just transpired, but I just felt it in my soul that it wasn't right. So, okay, so by this time, I'm walking out, and Money Mouth, he walking out too. So, me and Money Mouth ended up on the elevator together. So, I'm like, what's going on? Are you okay? Just tell me what's going on. He was like, Zen, you won't believe me. You wouldn't believe me if I tell you. I said, well, I'm listening because I never saw you like this. I need to know what's happening. Like, is there anything I need to be worried about? because you because what's going on so he was like you know what let's have, let's go have a drink and i'll tell you all about it and i was like i could use a drink so y'all we end up going to the bar down the street from the job and so he started telling me what happened and y'all ain't finna believe how they tried this man now y'all keep in mind like i said this money mouth money mouth he could sell anything to anybody y'all this man was top salesman ever since i've been working there so for like six months straight this man was employee of the money everything now come to find out y'all even though he was a top salesperson, even though he was making majority of their money, this man wasn't even a salesperson. Yeah, so let me tell you how they try him. So basically, when they hire him, they was like, okay, listen, we really don't have no opening for this like salesperson that we're looking for in the sales department. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna hire you temporary and you show us what you can do. And then you know, if you do good, we're gonna put you in the sales position. Now, y'all, the sales position is what cardio was doing, you know, like like where she would go travel to different businesses, do presentations and stuff like that. So that's what Money Mouth was working towards because number one, it's a higher commission. You get more higher base pay and you're not in the office 24 seven, just on the phone selling. So basically when they hire him, they hired him at minimum wage. Even though he is a top salesperson. But keep in mind, they said this is a trial basis. You do good, then you're going to get that sales position. So he said after like the third month, he kept like constantly asking them like, yo, um, is it time for my promotion? When am I getting promoted? When am I getting promoted? I'm doing good. So he said they kept like giving him the runaround. So then after like the fifth month, the owner finally come down and they tell Money Mouth, hey, the owner want to take you to lunch. So now Money Mouth, he excited because he like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm finally finna get this promotion. This finally what I've been working towards. He happy, he excited. Y'all tell me why the owner take him out to lunch and they start questioning his sales, his sales process, his sale tactics. Like, yeah, like, hey, how are you able to sell so many products in one month? Like, like, what's your routine? Like, how do you do it? They like study question him about it. So y'all, once he started telling me that, I was like, hold on, money mouth. Please don't tell me that you told these folks your techniques. Please don't tell me that you you told them the game now y'all keep in mind i'm all about spreading knowledge i'm all about helping people you know move forward and better their life but when it comes to corporations baby let me tell you something corporations is no different from the street y'all and i done lived in both worlds i done been in the streets i done been in corporate america and if it's one thing i know two things for certain the corporate america is just like the streets the only difference is corporate america wears suits ties skirts and dresses but see they all play in the same game it's all about who can have the most power with the most money and baby they don't care who they use to get power or money so when i heard that they were trying to ask him like hey how you make all these sales that was a red flag for me because see at this point there's nothing to discuss this man been making you money been making you a lot of money you should have been talking dollar signs to this man why are you asking about how you do this how you do that but I was like, I hope you didn't do it. And so he looked at me and he said, Zen, you know what, Zen? He said, I was loyal to this company. He said, I had made them a lot of money. So not one thought in my mind made me think like they were going to do me the way they did me. And I said, what happened? So y'all, long story short, the owner is asking him about how he make all these sales, this and that. So he said, after they have lunch, you know, they go back. To the office nothing happened he said the very next day the owner said hey i want to take you to breakfast now when the owner take him to breakfast he thinking okay boom now i'm finna get my raise i'm finna get my raise no the owner tell him listen this is what we want you to do he was like you know you know made us a lot of money you know you're doing great we're happy that you're doing what you're doing he said but i'm gonna i'm gonna start a whole new department that i'm gonna put you in charge over so basically they started a whole new department they put money mouth in charge and they told him they said i want you to hire 10 people but i want you to hire them as temps and i want you to train them i want you to train them to do what you do 
No, I said, money, mouth, tell me you didn't do this. He said, Zen, I never thought they was going to use me like they did. So bottom line, he did what they wanted. He hired 10 people. He trained them. After two weeks, the people he was training, he started letting them make sales on their own. Y'all come to find out, after these people start making sales on their own, they was the top they was making the top sales. They was the top sellers in that company for the past two months. They was the top sellers. And now keep in mind, y'all, every day, money mouth coming to work like, hey, when am I going to get my raise? When am I going to get my raise? When am I going to get my raise? So come to find out when he come to work today on Monday, the owner is here. So he's like, yo, when I'm going to get my raise? Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened, y'all. They canceled that whole sales department. The whole sales department that Money Mouth was training, yep, they discontinued that. The position that Cardio was in, they discontinued that position. And the 10 people that Money Mouth trained, they then turned into employees, right? Only paid them a dollar extra and canceled the rest of the sales department. Gave up two of their best sellers because Money Mouth trained 10 best sellers. Canceled that department. So when Money Mouth came to work, he was upset. So he walked into the manager office and see, I was late for work, so I didn't see that part. I didn't see they walked into the office and they had that discussion. But he asking the manager, like, what's up? I noticed this sales position is no longer. By that time, the owner come in and he like, yo, let me take you to breakfast. And so they go to breakfast and that's when he tell Money Mouth, like, listen, you know, well, um, I thank you for being a loyal employee. You know, you're doing great work. Don't think it's, it's going unrecognized. So, of course, Money Mouth, like, listen, where's the raise? And he said, I already know that y'all not cancel these other sales positions. He said, I'm still willing to train new, you know, salespeople if that's what you want, but I just need a raise because this man was getting paid minimum wage. And the owner looked him straight in the face and said, well, you know, the company is having a hard time right now. So we're not able to give out raises and do promotions and things of that such. This is why Money Mouth walked into that office and he was so mad like that. And I said, what? Yes used him till they couldn't use him no more and this is why i tell everybody all the time don't break your back for a job y'all one thing about it two things for sure not every corporation is like this but a great percentage of them are y'all you have to know your worth you have to know your value and when you find something that you're great at the best thing you can do is start working for yourself because these companies don't care y'all they really don't care y'all it's all a game to them it's all about power money and who can get the most and like i always say Hey, corporate America is exactly like the street life. The only difference is they wear suit ties, skirts, and dresses, baby. Different environment, same game. Yes. As always, y'all, it's been fun. Be it back and be it back and be it back and hey, be it back and be it back and be it back and be.